cards here. Question after question after question. More than 200 gun owners came looking for answers. It's totally confusing. Um, it was kind of ran through. Some, like Dwayne Bolden of Waterbury, concerned about whether he'll be in violation of the new law. I have a few specific questions about what I have um, and, you know, what I need to do in order to get legal. SB 1160, also known as the Gun Violence Prevention and Children's Safety Act, was signed into law on April 4th. Since then, lawmakers have been inundated with questions. I've got tons of emails, people asking questions about how this law is being implemented and uh, uh, a lot of concern whether it's being implemented fairly. The law immediately banned magazines over 10 rounds, as well as assault-style rifles. Those who already own those items before April 4th can keep them, but they have to be registered by January 1st. But there are many gray areas that remain, including what happens to orders processed before April 4th, but were not received until after the law was passed. It's why the state is setting a June 1st deadline to seek clarity in the law. They're being cautious, and I think rightfully so. A legislative lawyer was even stumped by some of the questions. Many here argue that lawmakers should have had the time to read the entire bill before voting on it. How do the state police actually get to interpret something that should have came down from the legislature actually with all the information they needed in it to make the law work?